Hey guys, it's Psycho Horror here, and welcome to a video where I will just be talking about um, kind of what I'm looking forward to in FIFA 14. As you all probably already know, FIFA 14 is right around the corner. The demo is coming out on the 10th of September, and this is just a live commentary. I'm playing right here, right now, as a live commentary. Oh, can we get a goal already with Robin here? Oh, that's a great play there. So anyway, it's a live commentary, and I'm just going to be talking to you guys um, kind of about what I'm looking forward to in FIFA 14 while... Um, while playing a game in the background here just to uh, get some content up for you guys uh, today if you uh, uh, actually career mode trailer was released yesterday uh, for FIFA 14 if you haven't seen that I did a trailer breakdown on that and it's on my channel I uploaded it yesterday so be sure to check that out um, I kind of broke down and talked about what I thought of it so if you haven't seen that go sh be, be sure to go and check that out um, anyway uh, that's a great ball that's a Oh my fucking god, how did I miss that, Robin, you shit cunt. Uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, away from kind of the cursing, uh, let's just jump into what I'm really looking forward to in FIFA 14. Because I, I, it's actually been a while since I've looked so much forward to a FIFA game as I'm looking forward to FIFA 14. That's a great goal. Um, first of all, I would just like to talk about the fact that it's coming out on next gen. Which is probably the biggest reason why I'm so excited for it. Um, so, obviously, I'm getting the, uh, the PS3 version first, and then when the PS4 comes out, I'm getting it for the PlayStation 4. And uh, the, the thing, I, th that's probably the thing why I'm most excited for it, because, because uh, on, the, on the new consoles, um, the, the game is going to run on a new engine, uh, on the Ignite engine, um, which is basically a whole new engine, and it's going to make the game look much better, act much better, and everything in general is just going to be improved. Um, so, so that's something I'm really looking forward to, and I really think that the the fact that we can we can get a FIFA game on a next generation console will really, really improve the experience as a whole. Because FIFA games have been kind of stagnant recently in recent years, and uh, while there have been changes, there's been nothing revolutionary. Obviously, tactical defending for FIFA 12 was a big thing, and and FIFA games have always improved every year. But um, uh, the fact that they're coming out on next gen is really going to kind of uh, enhance that fact and it's going to be much more profound the changes that are going to be made and in general it's just going to be a much more enjoyable experience on a next on a on a next gen console and a next FIFA game so I'm really looking forward to that and I still think the, the one of the other things is that uh, the FIFA 14 is not going to be the greatest next gen game because it's obviously being transported from the PlayStation 3 to the PlayStation 4 so anyway, yeah, I had to go there. I got interrupted, but uh, I, I totally lost where I was. But anyway, next gen is is really going to kind of enhance the experience, and and FIFA 15 is really going to be the the kind of uh, epitome of of the next gen uh, console. So FIFA 14 isn't even going to offer that us, but it is a next gen game. So I'm really really excited about that fact. Next up, uh, probably the thing that I always excites me most about every new FIFA game that's coming out is that every year they try to make it more and more realistic. Um, some people see this as a bad thing, and I, I see where they're coming from. You know, FIFA 11 was one of the greatest FIFAs ever made, along with FIFA 08, and they were probably the more arcadey versions of the games, where skilling was really profound. Ah, oh, that's a horrible challenge. Um, where skilling was really, you know, kind of enhanced, and, uh, you know, everything in general was a bit more fast-paced. But I like the fact that they're making the games more, um, more realistic. It offers more realism, and it really makes the games, you know, more fun to play in general because there's it's much more tactical and it's much more like real football and every year that's something I look forward to and again like I said next gen coming out is going to offer much a much bigger capability to make these games more realistic and more like real life football so that's something I'm really looking forward to as well for FIFA 14. Um, next up if I just pull up my list here trying not to uh, Oh, thank God, Nori saved that. I thought that was going in. Uh, next up, um, probably the the thing, uh, the third thing I'm really excited for it ha has to be the the ulti ultimate team is um, arguably the most played game mode on FIFA. And uh, while I'm kind of a career mode guy, I still play ultimate team regularly, and it's one of my favorite modes in FIFA because it offers so much. Um, and it's so, so different to any other modes, and it's just so much fun to play in general. And the fact that they're um, totally uh, renewing the FIFA Ultimate Team chemistry system is something that I, f that I find extremely, extremely exciting. Um, Ultimate Team always gets a little stale um, by the end of FIFA, and that's something that you can't help. But the fact that they're having a new chemistry system will really 
really kind of uh, enhance uh, FIFA, four uh, FIFA 14's ultimate team when it first comes out. And I think we'll all also offer more longevity um, in the in the whole mode as itself because you'll have much more abilities to play different styles of football. Um, so even if you have the same team, you, you might have that team playing in a totally different manner than you would uh, with one chemistry style than you would with another. So that's something that's really excited in my exciting in my opinion, and uh, I'm I'm really really looking forward to that. And uh, I think that's a, that's a great thing that EA have done. I talk a lot of smack about EA. Um, you know, I, I'd say that with all you know, with reason, because they do a lot of things wrong. And and but but uh, EA Sports have really done a good job with FIFA 14, as far as I can tell. Um, they they've renewed a lot of things, and the fact that they kind of realized that Ultimate Team was getting a bit stale, that they had to throw things around. And with next gen, it's a perfect time to kind of renovate a whole new system. So I'm really excited about that. Now the final thing, which a lot of you might not see as such a big deal, um, but I definitely see it as, as a quite an important factor, is that the crowd has now been made into 3D. Um, it's no more cartoon, uh, I mean it's no more no like um, kind of cardboard boxes standing there, uh, pixels basically what they've been. And uh, you know the crowd has looked the same ever since FIFA. Oh, 04, I'd argue. Our crowd has always looked the same. And that's really bad. I mean, uh, FIFA World Cup 2010 had a great crowd. Um, I don't know if you played that game. I love that game. Um, so it was basically the World Cup version of FIFA 10. Um, and that crowd was great, but somehow they haven't incorporated that into other EA games. As well as, uh, in that game, they also showed the manager. Like, they showed the manager's faces and the actual manager's um, you know, like if you were Portugal, they would actually show Carlos Cueros, who was the manager uh, in 2010. Or if we were Spain, they would show Vicente del Bosque and things like that. So it was really nice. And uh, the fact that they're kind of making the crowd proper now in the next FIFA game is something I'm really looking forward to. Because the crowd is such an important part of a football. Um, you know, it's one of the most important parts of, uh, of a football as, as a game. You know, the supporters. And the fact that they're... Um, they're getting, they're they're renovating kind of the supporters. They're making them, making them look proper and um, making them just uh, much more realistic in general, and also react to what's happening on the pitch much more than before is something that I'm really really excited for. So that's kind of that's pretty much wraps it all up. I can kind of can we end this half with a goal? No, we cannot. And. Um, I think that's half time, not yet. Uh, but anyway, so then we'll kind of wrap up to this end of this video. Um, be sure to leave a comment on what are you guys most excited for in FIFA 14. This is kind of what I'm looking forward to a lot. Um, FIFA 14 demo drops September 10th. The game drops on September 27th. Unless you have the EA Sports Season Pass, then it drops earlier. And I think it drops a bit earlier in the North America region. Don't count me on that. Um, but uh, anyway, yeah, <laughs> what, what are you guys excited for? Um, I'm excited for these things. Leave a comment. Uh, if you guys are excited for FIFA 14, press the like button. And uh, I will see you guys uh, next time. Bye-bye.